So one thing that researchers often want to do in the context of uh, task trials is to give a participant feedback on whether they were correct or incorrect and at the same time also remind the participant what the answer was that they gave by showing it to them on a following screen. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in the task builder. First let's see what this looks like for the participant by previewing the task. So the participant is asked to say whether this is a cat or a dog. Um, so let's type in cat and they're shown a screen that says you answered cat which was correct. I've gone to the next example and here let's get this wrong. Let's say that for some reason we think this is a fish. Then we're sent to a different screen um, that says you answered fish which was incorrect. So you can see that regardless of whether the participant is correct or incorrect, they're shown the answer that they just typed on the feedback screen. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how to set this up. So first, let's start with the screen where we ask the participant the question. You can see that we've got a rich text zone here for displaying the question, an image zone here which we populate from the image column in the spreadsheet, that's what the green colour coding means, and here we have a response text entry zone where we collect the participant's uh, typed response. Um, now to configure how these responses are handled, we need to scroll down through the configuration settings to this section, Active Response. And this first setting is where we tell Gorilla where to find the correct answer. Um, and this is currently set up um, to a spreadsheet column called Answer. That's what the green colour coding means. It means that we're uh, looking for this answer in the spreadsheet. And if we go to the spreadsheet, we can see uh, there is a column called Answer and it contains the correct answer for each trial. So cat for the first trial, dog for the second trial. Um, so Gorilla is able to look that up and figure out whether the answer was correct or incorrect. Um, then what we need to do is we need to tell Gorilla which screen to go to depending on whether the participant was correct or incorrect. So to do that, we expand branching settings here. And you can see that um, if the participant is correct, then they get sent to uh, a screen called correct, whereas if the participant is incorrect, they're sent to a screen called incorrect. And you can see these screens in the task structure up here on the top left. Um, it's important to note that um, these names have to match exactly, uh, so they're case sensitive. Um, if we typed correct all in lowercase here, that wouldn't work because it has to match the way it's typed here, which is in title case. Um, and finally, to set this up, we need to save the answer that the participant gave so that we can display it to them on the next screen. And the way we do this in Gorilla is to use embedded data. So we expand this section, embedded data settings, and we're going to use this first option, which is to store the most recent answer as embedded data called, and here we've given it the name answer. Um, and this is the name that we will use to retrieve this data, so to retrieve the participant's most recent response on the next screen. Um, as you can see here, this isn't the only type of embedded data that you can save and display. So for example, if you wanted to show participants um, their total number of correct answers um, out of the total trials that they've done, um, this is also something that you could configure here by giving names to these two settings. So that's the screen where we collect responses set up. And now we can move on to see how the correct and incorrect screens are set up. So let's start with the correct screen. Um, so uh, the correct screen has this rich text zone. Um, and what we display here is a template sentence. So you answered blah, which was correct. And here, this is how we retrieve the embedded data that we just saved. Um, so you use the name that you just filled in in the configuration settings, which here is answer, and you wrap it in curly braces and um, put it after two dollar signs. And this syntax basically tells Gorilla, look, whatever is inside here is the name of the embedded data that I want you to display. And there are two more zones on the correct screen that I just want to talk about briefly. So the first is a time limit zone. Uh, and we can see that this is set to automatically advance to the next screen after 10 seconds, and that's if the participant doesn't press the continue button. And the other zone, which is very important, is a go to zone. Uh, and we need to put this in because by default, Gorilla will show all screens in a display in the order that you put them in the task structure here. So by default, um, after showing the correct screen, uh, Gorilla would then show the incorrect screen to the participant. Um, and obviously we don't want that to happen. Instead, we want to skip straight from the correct screen to the finished screen. And that's what the go to zone achieves. Um, so when the screen is complete, advance to screen, finish. And again, these names have to match. 
Um, okay, now let's see how the incorrect screen is set up. It's basically exactly the same as the correct screen. Um, the template sentence is different because it's telling the participant they're incorrect, but the way that the recent answer embedded data is um, retrieved and displayed is exactly the same. Um, you also note that um, there's no need for a go-to zone on this screen because the next screen is the finished screen anyway, so the default behaviour is absolutely fine here. Um, finally, the finished screen itself, um, I've just set this up to be text saying uh, onto the next example uh, with a one second time limit, um, but you could uh, actually set this up as a blank screen that only displays for a few milliseconds. Um, however, there does need to be a screen here so that you can direct participants um, somewhere after the correct screen if you want them to skip over the incorrect screen. Um, so that's how you set up directing participants to a correct or incorrect screen. Um, that also shows them their most recent answer. Um, and for more information on using embedded data, you can search for embedded data on the support homepage to find our walkthrough.